the board here. So there's one, two, and three. Right here, I'm looking. One, two, and three. I want you to pick one that you're going to zone in on. Um, if you want to move this past coloring, let's add some extra lines in there with plenty of sharpies that came through. Um, so we have a lot of sharpies. Um, I'm going to give you a minute. Figure it out, and then I'm going to print it for you guys. And then we'll do the last one. Really look at what pattern kind of pulls you in a little bit. Today we are coloring and glittering. We're making these look pretty. I'm going to print it. I'm printing these, so figure out which one you want to do. All right, five, four, three, two, one. You can think about it while I do instruction. Um, so a way to make this more complicated is just sticking some more lines in here. Um, a quick way to complicate something when it comes to art is double lining it. It's really the easiest way. Um, so just adding an extra line, following it around, follow the same shape and then um, keep your spacing even. Um, if you're like, I don't know what designs I would put in there or what shapes. Um, another way is a quick pattern. Okay, I'm gonna do a circle, then maybe a triangle and have it go across and then keep going with it and just have it go directionally all the way around. Another, another way. Um, is there any other ways you can think of before you get yours? How can you make this more complicated? All right, so this, um, this ornament competition, it's a competition. It's gonna be hanging out on a Christmas tree out here. Um, you want yours to win. The winner gets a $50 gift card before Christmas time. So let's figure out ways to make this ornament more interesting. You could just add stripes and then add a pattern, different color on each one. Okay. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Glitter. Uh-oh. We all love glitter. Well, there's a few. Some really don't like glitter, I guess. But it's usually boys, too, I've been noticing in all the years teaching. The girls love glitter. Okay. Um, these are super small. They looked really big on Amazon. I'm sure you've ordered stuff on Amazon and you thought it was a little bit different. That's what happened to Ms. Stringos. Uh, these are super tiny. We are going to get some bigger bottles in here, I promise you. Um, there's many colors over here. There's about 15 different colors. Um, I'm just going to do a quick demo because sometimes it's people's first time kind of doing glitter and have it look a certain way. It can be tricky. So you're going to take the liquid glue. Think of it like drawing. It's a little bit better than the glue sticks, honestly. Follow it around. Um, like I said, think of it like a drawing. So wherever you're putting your glue is where that where that uh, glitter is going to stick. Pop the top off. Sprinkle it on. You think the glitter will waste fast? Uh huh? Is the glitter going to waste out? Yeah, we've run out a few colors, but it's okay because they're tiny little bottles. But this is why I'm doing the demo. You're going to go ahead and just shake it off onto that extra piece of paper. And then I want you to create kind of a little funnel with the paper. Take the little jar back and funnel it back in. And we're not going to throw away any glitter because it's very popular and we need every bit of it. All right, is there any questions? You've got to cut this out after and then put it up here once you're finished. We're good? And have fun with this. This is not supposed to stress you out. It's supposed to be a fun thing. <laughs>